the, the tournament for you. Absolutely. So now let's turn over <laughs> the action to Dill and Casterman. We're going to be kicking things off at PS2. And do you think Casterman is... Is Casterman a sole Pichu main, or have you seen them play other characters? Uh, I don't think I've seen them throw out anything other than the Pichu. All right. And we are seeing the Pichu coming out for game one. So Pichu versus Rob. This feels like it could be fairly difficult to, uh, for Pichu, especially, you know, Rob has such a, a great defensive neutral, mm -hmm. but we already saw in a previous game, Cast Our Man against uh, Steven, the Sonic player, you know, really showed up with his neutral. But, all right, Armorder not quite doing it yet, and Dill not able to find the back air. Wow. Able to find the down air. Dill usually so comfortable with, uh, you know, taking a high road on the recovery, and that is that is fear now <laughs> that yeah. is instilled in Dill. You definitely cannot get comfortable against Pichu off stage. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Oh, I looked away for a moment. Casterman with the drag down back air, bringing Dill to their last stock. Yeah, let's see, I think I just barely saw the tail end of it. It looked like Dill was expecting to have to tech the back air yeah. and air dodge for it. Well, Dill bouncing right back, throwing the neutral B to get Pichu out of here. But let's see if Dill can mount to come back. Very, you know, very tough situation to bounce back from such a low deficit. But with Pichu, like we were talking about earlier, being so light and Rob just throwing hands like Rob does, you know, we could see a very early stock kill. Yeah, and I mean, we've seen we've seen Dill throw out the, the crazy, like, arm rotor yeah. conversions before. Ooh, I'm actually surprised that didn't uh, reflect the thunder. Just barely not able to find it, but able to find the down air. What was that offstage interaction? My goodness. It was silly. Dill having the wherewithal to go for that down air just as Pichu was trying to make it back. And now we have a, we virtually have an even game. Pretty much. Cast our man now at ledge while Dill trying to keep up the ledge trap, but now putting being put at ledge herself. Going really high, trying to bait out the thunder right now, actually. I, all right, not able to find the up air after the neutral air, but now cast our man off stage once again. Oh no, that was oh, so input. dangerous. Yeah. All right, and Dill has kind of had to play uh, with Gyro fairly carefully in this game one uh, because she can't really like throw it out so often because Pichu mm. is so close to the ground that. Um, Rob's regular item throw, that's a dead Pichu. So dead. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's regular item throw will go straight over the Pichu. Mm, right, right. But having it just be on the ground like that makes it a fantastic uh, edge guard ledge trap setup. Yeah, and then speaking of ledge guarding, here's Pichu just landing that thunder, getting Dill off the side. And then this very crazy offstage interaction where the drag down um, by Pichu just bringing Rob to their death. Yeah, you could see Dill was trying to air dodge there to tech, which just smash ultimate multi hits. For sure. Silly. Yeah. And then Dill just keeping their composure and bringing it back. Yeah, Dill did a fantastic job there. The rotor arm's getting it done. Yep. And right. so Castor Man's, um, Castor Man's counter pick was Town and City. I find this to be really interesting. Town and City is a fantastic Rob stage, and Dill kind of already showing us why, because, you know, our murder kill is going to be so much earlier. Right, giving that the sides are, are very, uh, the blast zone. Oh. oh my goodness. Casterman just messing up the recovery there, unfortunately, but Dill trying to tack on some additional ja damage to the second stock. Yep. And yeah, like you said, this is a very strong stage for Rob, right? Not just given the, the, the edges, the sides with, you know, the rotor arm kills, but, um, yeah. I have to wonder if what Cast Our Man's um, thought process was, good lord. Thought process down. was, you die. Yeah. With <laughs> I, ha I have to wonder if what the thought process was, you know, I'm playing Pichu. I'm going to die early no matter where I go. Right, So true. if Town and City is a good stage for me, it doesn't matter that I'm going to die to Arm Murder at, like, 40. Yeah, for sure. So now Cast Our Man... Keeping things competitive with a 
great edge guard. Let me see if he can find his way back into this game. There we go. That's the interaction I was expecting to see earlier with the arm rotor reflecting the, the thunder. Ooh, looking to get a drag down. That was really bold from Castar Man. Unteckable there on the ledge. Castar Man found his in. Going to see if he can make too much out of it, but unfortunately has to retreat just right back to neutral. And now at 160 and climbing, Pichu's going to die from pretty much anything. Yeah. But that's also a lot of rage to be putting on the little guy. So if he can be, if he can find, if he can find something, he might be killing Dill pretty early. Cool. Yeah, up throw, absolutely going to be killing. And that whole sequence there in that last stock was just Dill continuing to use their patience and then just getting these Rob conversions, my word. Yep, Pichu just a little bit too tiny for Dill yeah. to be able to to finish things out. But still, that's a, a lot of damage to be putting on, especially, again, as Pichu. Yeah. You can't be taking too much of that. For sure. Yeah, Dill's been playing really well around the T-Jolts thus far this set. Arm Rotor is going to be taking it. Wow, that was a super early percent too, right? Yeah. All right. Great match there with Casterman and Dill. Dill moving on. Yep, in a clean 2-0. Let's see. A Dill looking for like a, a two frame with the arm murder right there. And yeah, oh, Casterman, yeah. I think just... Did Casterman only use one of the quick attack? He did. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Good down air there by Casterman trying to bring things back. But Dill, in this match, the story here was just staying in neutral, holding it down, and looking for those openings. And really not much Casterman could do with, with the uh, amount of patience that Dill was playing with. Yeah, we were talking before about like the zoner-style game plan and how Casterman was really, I think, trying to lean into that. Mm, um, yeah. With We've seen he has like amazing use of T-Jolt. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, but... Dill was just really ready for it. Yeah, that hard, whole hard time. to pull that off on you know someone as seasoned as Dill, mm -hmm. and you know with those T jolts, anticipating those right, especially as Rob, you could just you know shield and then try to execute something right off of that because there's a decent amount of you know especially if Pichu is jumping and trying to you know trying to move around that mm -hmm. it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, something that you could exploit um, eventually. Uh, but yeah, the rotor arms was the, the the way to kill. Yeah, as as you know, as town most rob mains do, and yeah, town and city as well. Uh, but let's see, uh, we got another match coming up.